Warning. The stunts in this movie were performed by professionals, so for your safety and the protection of those around you, do not attempt any of the stunts you're about to see. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's vlog is gonna be epic. It is going to completely defy everything you've ever known about mixing water and electricity. All right guys, so this is our Arma Granite 4x4 and this is a super fast RC monster truck. The problem is that we recently burnt out the motor that was in this truck because we did not properly break it in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this brand new motor that Horizon Hobby sent to us and we are going to properly break this in with a water break in. Again, this is mixing water and electricity, so do not do this without parental supervision. Mason is gonna stand up here and help me out through the process and we're gonna show you how it's done the right way to make these brushed motors last as long as possible. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. If you're not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and like this video, subscribe. We have a ton of content for both the adults and the kids, whether it be RC, power wheels, ATVs, dirt bikes. We pretty much do it all around here. If you want to see some legit professional fun havers, make sure to subscribe here. This is also our merch that you can find down in the description below, so make sure to check it out too. Now back to our show. You're going to have the brushes, you're going to have this small fan, and you're going to have the shaft that's going to be spinning around in this water, so it can get a little messy. So what you definitely want to do is you want to have some sort of container with a lid, and what we're going to end up doing is just drilling a small hole in the top here so we can run the uh, motor leads through the top. Well, that didn't go as planned, but well, that'll work. All right, so we got our cup of water. So once you got the body off, you're gonna run your motor leads up out of the top of here and connect them to the correct lead that goes to the ESC. So obviously black goes to black and red will go to red. If you reverse the polarity on here, it could cause problems. So you definitely don't want to do that. Once you got the motor leads hooked up, you can go ahead and drop the motor and go ahead and seal this lid up. Next thing we need is the battery. What I will typically do is run a full cycle of the standard battery that comes with the car. So once you got the battery hooked up and you've got the motor leads hooked up and you got your motor submerged, you want to turn on your transmitter, make sure your throttle trim is all the way down. Turn on your ESC and at that point you can slowly turn on your throttle trim. And what you're gonna see is your motor start to spin for about a quarter at a time. So we're gonna let it run on this speed here for about, I don't know, four to five minutes. And then after that, what we'll end up doing is going up to about a half for about five minutes, three quarters for about two to three minutes. And then we'll try, if we still have battery left, to take it up full speed. And what you'll end up seeing is that the water in here is gonna get really, really gray and dirty as all the particles come off of the brushes inside the motor. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna end up seeding all of the brushes that spin around the motor. And that's gonna make it a really efficient motor. It's gonna make it run better throughout its life, extend longevity and everything like that. There's the big one right there. And there was Grave Digger. Yep, that is Grave Digger. And that one right there hasn't been introduced yet, but we're gonna make a video on that here in probably the next day or so. So yeah, I mean, this basically is like a, uh, a science experiment. Now, obviously you don't want to put any kind of electricity directly in the water or anything like that, but as long as you have an idea of what you're doing and trying to accomplish, then this can't go wrong. This is a really easy process to do. One of the great things about breaking it in with a water break in versus a dry break in is it keeps the motor really cool. cool. All right guys, so it's been about five minutes on at this speed right here at a quarter. So we're gonna go up to about a, a half throttle and you're gonna see the shaft of the motor is turning a lot faster and what you got to be careful of when you start you don't want your motor leads to start tangling up you just got to increase it a little bit at a time so it doesn't you know twist all of the leads and everything around the motor you can start to see some particles floating around in the water and the faster we go the more gray and dirty it's gonna get been about 10 minutes and we've got the trim set at about three quarter throttle right now we've got one twist around the leads right now but that is not a big deal whatsoever what do you think miss is that uh water graying up a little bit yeah yep, so it's getting a lot of those particles flushed out of that motor right now it's gonna make those brushes seat really well it's gonna make the engine a lot more efficient it's turning a lot blacker and darker yeah it sure is it's cleaning all the particles and contaminants off of the motor mm -hmm. it's pretty cool huh they're playing the inside because it was dirty. Yep. So while we're waiting, we've got the TTR 110 out and we are going to get that washed up as well. This thing is absolutely filthy. We haven't washed it in probably, 
I don't know, two weeks or so at least. That red thing is making it spin too because all that stuff that went in there, yep. it's really hot. So this is your positive lead right here, and this is your negative lead. It's a little bit hot, guys. It's almost fine. Got about four minutes on this three-quarter cycle, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the throttle trim up. Hopefully, it will not twist our leads up too much. We do just a little bit at a time. figured that might be a problem but and luckily it's just kind of spinning in a circle it's not twisting the leaves any at all so that's a good thing oh, that's really cool it's like you can feel it spinning when you hold when you like touch it it's super cool that motor's spinning pretty fast yeah is it going to be a loud one if you want me to take it out no no because we're going to turn what we'll do is we'll turn it off before we before we take it out and we'll let the motor cool down some and then We'll have to put it all back together. And then you'll be able to drive it again. Sound good? Yeah, so we're gonna let it uh, finish up its cycle here. With these nickel metal hot drive batteries, you can run the battery until full exhaustion without damaging the battery in any way. This truck can run about 24 to 25 miles an hour. The other truck that we have can run about 60, and you guys are gonna see that yeah. here in the, next come, in the next couple days. It's super cool. It's yeah. like, it goes super fast. It has wheels on the back, so whenever you go like as fast as it goes, it does wheelies. It's super cool. And it does backflips. It does do backflips. Wait, what? I haven't seen it do a backflip. Mason's done backflips with it. Oh, gosh. All right, guys, so the battery is now exhausted. Turn off the ESC, turn off the transmitter, and we can go ahead and take this motor out. You take, the, uh, take and disconnect the motor leads. Whoa. And look at that, the motor stays nice and cool. And you can see just how much dirt and grime is in there from what's stuck on the, uh, the leads right here. So you can see that this water did turn pretty gray and cloudy. You can see a lot of the residue up here at the top and the water is definitely has like a more sticky consistency. So I've seen much dirtier motors from the factory, but this one was actually not too bad. So what we'll go ahead and do is um, go wash it off in the sink, make sure to get all the particles out, blow it out with air, make sure it's all dry. All right, so after water break in, you can go ahead and connect the leads back, turn the throttle trim up, let it get all that water out of the motor. Most importantly, you have to lube the motor up after you do this, because you definitely don't want any rust or anything happening up in there. And you're good to go. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this video right here. I hope this video helped you out. Really not a hard process to do. It's a little intimidating at first, mixing electricity with water, but it really does work. It extends the life of your motor and you will certainly be happy with it. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give us a like, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below.